coming up. We're cattlemen that got into the precast concrete business. Feed troughs are something that get a lot of use. Cox Concrete's one one we, we went with for sure. It's changed our whole feeding operation. We've saved 40% of the time feeding now since we've gone this way. These are outlast me, and I plan on never leaving, so I'd stay there forever. See how cattle and concrete breed success for one Texas family next on The American Rancher. Welcome to the American Rancher. I'm Pam Minnick. Years ago, rancher Larry Cox and his wife Paula started a precast concrete company just east of Dallas in Mount Pleasant, Texas. Their goal was simply to generate more income for their growing family. And in time, they discovered a niche market in making concrete feed and water troughs for agriculture. Now, 80% of their business is ag-related. Business is booming and the family is still ranching. Uh, I was born and raised on this place. My, my mother and daddy uh, had, a, had a ranch down about five miles from here, and then they came, this one came for sale in the 30s, and then they bought this ranch, and, and then they traded two or 300 acres of land for a herd of Hereford cows. And uh, so they always, had the Herefords the whole time we were, we were growing up. My daddy was one of the first ones that bought some Brahmin bulls and started crossbreeding these Hereford cows back in the early 1960s. So henceforth, later on in years, he kept replacement heifers out of this crossbreeding program that he had. And so came up with these F1 cows and they were really, really nice calves. And he was one of the first ones that was kind of instrumental in our part of Texas that uh, got the crossbreeding program started. And when my daddy got old uh, old and decided he wanted to quit, well, that's when we took the cattle business over. And, and uh, then we were kind of getting a little <laughs> up, on, up in age. And Paula was 41 and I was 46. And so we had a new baby boy and here came our cowboy. Uh, absolutely loved riding around looking at cattle with dad and, and granddad and grandma. and. and We'd all work cows together, and, and I knew from a young age that my passion was was cattle. I knew my passion was agriculture, and growing up here was was something that that I'll forever be grateful for. And I say I was born in the beef cattle deal and the agribusiness from day one, and have never looked back. Larry and Paula raised three children on the ranch: Charlotte, Ryan, and John. Well, we knew John would be an engineer from the time, almost from the time he was born. Always taking things apart. Always taking together. things apart, and putting them back together. And he was, uh, uh, so he went ahead and went to Texas A&M, got his master's in mechanical engineering, and now he's working for SpaceX. And right, then Charlotte, Charlotte was, uh, Charlotte came along. She was uh, always a detail-oriented person. And whenever she uh, went off, and, we got her accounting degree and came back. Well, she opened up her office and operated it for a couple of years and decided to work for Cox Concrete, and it's been a blessing. We call her the CFO of Cox Concrete, but she has more, more, much, many more duties than that. I joined the company back in 2004, so I've been here a long time, and over those years, I've done a lot of things. I say I've done everything from being rebarred, cut wire, to doing the financial statements and the tax returns. So as the company has grown though, my roles have primarily become financial in nature. I'm a CPA, so that's really where my strengths lie. Charlotte's son Tripp keeps busy on the ranching side. The Cox family develops Hereford seed stock for commercial buyers, and they also raise champion show cattle. We have quite a bit going on with all these show cattle and then behind the scenes, we're growing much more calves to be sold into the show cattle business and beef business. Like his uncle Ryan, Tripp has a passion for agriculture and his dedication to the family show cattle program is paying off. Which my recent show, which was the biggest show I've been to was in Denver, Colorado. That was quite an adventure. When Ryan graduated from college, well, he, he came back and uh, 
jumped in it with both feet, and they're both, they've, we've turned it over to them a couple of years ago, and they're a perfect match. Graduated from high school and served as Texas FFA president in 1314 and took off a complete year of college traveling the state, visiting to students about premier leadership, personal growth, and career success through agricultural education, and then went on to Texas A&M to major in agricultural sciences and minor in ag economics. And then I came back to the, the concrete business in uh, May of 2018. My passion is production agriculture, and I think that's what's so unique about our brand is that we're cattlemen that got into the precast concrete business and are providing a quality product for everyday American ranchers to, that supply the most wholesome protein source there is in the world. And that's our role and, and what gets me up every day allows me to pursue my passion in production agriculture. Yeah, we were making construction products, which was uh, septic tanks, culvert pipe, and manhole material for all precast concrete for city sewer systems. And so uh, there was a manager of a, of a restaurant beef cattle outfit here that came to me and asked me if I would make him some concrete feed troughs. And I said, well, huh, that's kind of an interesting idea. I said, yeah, I'll make a few for you. So he brought me a form. And so I poured concrete feed troughs for this, this outfit for a few weeks and got enough to fit their needs. And, and he asked me if I wanted to buy this form. So I said, yeah, well, you know, why not? Well, I'll buy this form. So I bought the form we poured a few more. We had 30 or 40 probably stacked up out there. Once we got to selling these concrete feed troughs on skids, well, the next ranch over would see these and they would buy them and the next ranch would buy them. And so, you know, after 20, 30, 20 years of doing that, well, I mean, word of mouth has been great. Up next, you can't go six inches in that trough without finding reinforcement. You can handle all of these things with a front end loader and still last over 20 years. See how every Cox concrete trough is made. That's after the break here on The American Rancher. Welcome back to The American Rancher. Ryan Cox and his sister Charlotte have built upon the foundation of their father's success in making high quality concrete feed and water troughs for the beef cattle industry. Whenever I joined the company in May of 2018, my primary role was sales and marketing. And when I started, we had a dealer network of about 23 dealers scattered across the Southern United States. Through hitting the pavement, connections from showing cattle, college, and FFA, we've built that dealer network up to about 43 stores scattered across the Southern United States with more, much more launching in the start of 2022. Having Ryan join the company has been absolutely wonderful. He came right in and kind of started focusing on sales and marketing. He loves to meet people and talk with people. So that was a really good fit for him. Since he's been here, he's been able to more than double our dealer network and even add a couple of new products that customers were needing. And now he is actually spearheading our building expansion and has some more new products in mind as well. Our primary line of products is agricultural products. We manufacture three basic lines of feed troughs, of inline bunks or pasture bunks. We also manufacture a line of water troughs as well that scale anywhere from 60 gallon water troughs up all the way up to NRCS approved 550 gallon water troughs as well uh, for the, our larger operations or someone that just needs the, the reservoir as well. We pride ourselves in making American made products with American made steel, American-made couplings, and a domestically made cement as well. So when you purchase from us, you're purchasing American-made products with American materials, um, all right here in Mount Pleasant, Texas, uh, right across from our ranch from Cattlemen. What makes our product very unique and makes us the stoutest and most durable trough on the market is our one-of-a-kind rebar reinforcement in our standard 10-foot by 3-foot leg trough. You can see here, laying in this form here, it's a custom bent, custom welded cage goes in each individual trough of 120 feet of number three rebar. You can't go six inches in that trough without finding reinforcement. That goes all throughout the trough, then ties each individual leg back into the trough. 
which is made for durability, not only for rough livestock, such as rodeo livestock, but also relocation. If you've got to load those things up and go to different places across, or even if it gets too wet in one location, you can handle all of these things with a front end loader and still last over 20 years. Due to our rugged rebar reinforcement design and concrete that we use over a 7,000 PSI mix, Dad poured the first feed trough around 1985. We stopped using it on the ranch in 2018 due to the design and the quality that product that we make here at Cox Concrete. These are our inline feed bunks, designed primarily for the feed yard sector or stocker operations, so that producers can line them end to end and then run down the fence line and feed the cattle without having to actually enter in the pen. These have been our most popular product in the last two years. Uh, and we see a lot of people starting to pick up on these also with cow-calf producers with the older generation, so that way they don't have to get into the pen with the cattle or enter the pasture and they can feed from the outside, especially with the advancement of vertical mixers and bulk silage as we feed these from outside. So every morning we strip our forms from the previous day. Everything is poured upside down. So what's happening here is our crew is flipping the forms over and taking the products out and then they're cleaning up the form from any residue that is left over from taking the product outside of the form. And then they'll flip these forms back over and put them back together. They'll put the lubricant back on and then put the steel reinforcement back in there to prepare for pouring this afternoon. So Brandon here is our batch plant operator. Now Brandon's father has actually worked for us for 30 years and Brandon's now coming on his one year anniversary here with us at Cox Concrete. What's Brandon's main role here as batch plant operators? Ensure that the right amount of pea gravel and sand and cement goes in the batch plant as well. Also the consistency of the concrete. You'll see him reach in and check it every now and then. Make sure the slump and the workability of the concrete is right to go into all these forms and make sure we have a quality finished product at the end of the day. We'll come in, we'll dump the concrete in, and at that time they're also still checking the concrete for consistency from where Brandon brought it over from the batch plant. Then you'll see Levi take, pick up the vibrator. He's the vibrator technician that makes sure that it gets vibrated the right amount because you can vibrate one too much, you can also vibrate one too little and get an ugly finished product. And then we all come together and trowel it out to make sure it's a, a finished product for our end user, whether that be through a dealer or whether that be direct through a rancher. Uh, that way you've got quality products sitting in your pasture that'll last you for years to come. So Elohim's our shop foreman. What he's doing now is he's putting the inlet and the outlet in all of our water troughs. All of our water troughs are plumbed with a one inch double threaded Schedule 80 coupling from the bottom. So that way you can hook the water up from underneath to prevent from freezing or livestock from having access to where the water comes into the trough. There's also a two inch drain plug that's flush with the bottom of the trough. So that way you can easily drain all the water out when you need to clean them. With business steadily increasing at Cox Concrete, truck driver Billy Thompson is staying busy. Today, Billy and the crew are preparing a load of J-Bunks for delivery to Oklahoma. I came to work here in March of last year, almost a year and a half. Ryan called me to come to work for him because he needed a driver part-time and I liked the job so much that I just left my truck over here. All right. The load we're sending out today is a load of 10-foot J-bunks, or feedlot-style bunk, going to Kurt Wilson in Ringling, Oklahoma, where he specializes in the stalker operation, where he's straightening cattle out before he sends them on to the feed yard. Kurt's been a longtime customer, and very proud to have him on board in his operation. After the break. Heck, I, these will outlast me, and I plan on never leaving, so uh, I'd say they're forever. See what longtime customers have to say about their Cox Concrete feed troughs. You're watching The American Rancher. Stay with us. Welcome back to The American Rancher. The Cox family from Mount Pleasant, Texas are ranchers that started a precast concrete company. They make feed and water troughs for agriculture. And with years of proven durability and use as their guide, Cox customers keep coming back for more. We're really excited about the future of our operation as we add more lines of feed troughs to fit more producers' needs and also add more sizes of water troughs that fit different applications as well as landscaping opportunities such as large-scale planters. 
So our primary customers are, are beef cattle producers of all shapes and sizes, whether that be the hobby farmer that have 10 or 15 cows, all the way up to full size feed yards that are providing seed stock for cattlemen, uh, whether it be bulls, replacement females. We've also seen a big uptick in stalker operations taking a liking to our inline feed bunks that straighten the cattle out before they go into the feed yards. We primarily ship our products in Texas, Louisiana, Arkansas, and Oklahoma. However, we have shipped as far as Florida and California as well. Well, here at 44 Farms, we develop all our bulls on pasture, and in order to, to do that, we gotta be able to have bunks that we can move around, uh, adjust to whatever capacity we have at the time, and then uh, certainly whatever feed we're feeding at the time, uh, it has to be somewhat uh, flexible. These particular bunks that we have right here right now are over 10 years old, and uh, there's no telling. In that, in that 10 years, they probably have been moved 20 times anywhere around our, where we feed. They have really worked out well. Heck, I, these will outlast me, and I plan on never leaving, so uh, I'd say they're forever. Heart Brand runs a seed stock operation of about 3,000 mother cows, and we sell uh, about 500 bulls per year, as well as another 500 females per year. We develop those heifers, develop those bulls right here on site. So when we were building this new division, uh, we looked at multiple options, and, and Cox Concrete's one of the one we, we went with for sure. It was a clear choice. Heart Brand is a fairly large operation, and feed troughs are something that get a lot of use uh, daily, sometimes multiple times a day, with the cattle, bulls, cows, and, and feed trucks, uh, so something that has to hold up. So the durability of these feed troughs was, was necessary uh, when we were making that choice, and, and uh, Cox uh, was definitely the one that rose to the top. Got a lot of good use out of them. The main thing with these is the backside is, is higher than the front side, and they don't, cattle don't push feed out of the bunks. Difference for me, anyway. Yeah. We've been in the business since I've been old enough to do it. I taught animal science for 11 years as an ag teacher at Duncanville High School. Then me and her started, uh, it was BBS Shorthorns, now it's GKB Cattle Company. We've been in this for about 35 years as of right now. That's our adult married life. And uh, we raise Hereford cattle. We raise Brangus cattle. We raise Brahma cattle. And uh, we have a variety of what we do. We, you, most time we serve the commercial bull buyers. And we do show Hereford cattle here at this place at Waltzahatchee. This is where our Hereford operation is. And we run a bull feed yard. We run our recip cow herds and uh, we do most all the rest of Herefords here at Waltzahatchee. We were trying a lot of feed troughs that had the plastic in them. We've had some with the uh, lighter deal where Kathy could move them around, and it got to the point where we were trashing them. After about six months, they were trashed out for us. We found out that the Cox concrete troughs simply hold up to our herd sires, our herd bulls, and when we're feeding a big group of cattle, and uh, they're easy to move with a front end loader. We have been using them probably six, seven years, and it's worked out great. And the customer service has been excellent. Not only do they have a good product, we enjoy working with their staff as well, and it's highly organized. And the other thing is I'll say about Ryan and them and their family, they stand behind their product. It's changed our whole feeding operation completely different. We're, we save probably 40% of the time feeding now since we've gone this way because we can take our trucks, put out the feed, and go on. The bulls are not moving them around where you got to stop and change the trough, or they'll, a bull slides the trough underneath your pickup. We don't have that problem no more. These are set. We set and make mounds out on the dirt. We drive our trucks up or our tractors, feed them, and we're done. And we have not had to replace any of their troughs. And we're going on right now six years on a bunch of them. Meanwhile, in Ringling, Oklahoma, Billy Thompson is pulling up with Kurt Wilson's load of J-Bunks. Ryan is close behind to meet up with Kurt's business partner, Chase Mansfield, to get a first-hand look at the operation and lend a hand in delivery. Chase, how are you, sir? Good, good to see you, Good, Ryan. good. Now, where are these bunks going to go? Straight down this alley right here. And we'll unload them right over here. Good deal. Look good. Yes, sir, but we appreciate you. You bet. My partner and the family that owns this place here is the Wilsons. 
He is a fourth generation rancher. So they've had this place since right around statehood. Here about two years ago, we decided we were going to uh, do some renovations, expand a little bit, and uh, we began looking at some companies to replace some of our old bunks that had become worn and broken. And we stumbled upon Cox Concrete. They supplied us with about 300 bunks, as well as several loads of water troughs. Always the same product, always consistent, as well as quality. It's the same product every time. The bunks we were using were uh, a much smaller bunk, not quite as heavy duty. The thing we like about the Cox concrete bunks is they have a much higher back. Gives us a, a wide range of animal to put in there. You know, anything from a 250 pound calf all the way up to a 1200 pound steer. It ensures that they stay in there, the calf can't get through, and uh, holds a lot of feed. Chase, we really appreciate your business with, with all the products you've bought from us. And, and it, it's folks like y'all and that we're able to do business on a handshake. And that's really what drives us to, towards our passion of providing quality bunks so that way y'all get y'all's job done. That's all the time we have today. To learn more about Cox Concrete's complete line of ag and construction products, log on to coxconcrete.com. And to learn more about us, visit our website, theamericanrancher.com, or connect with us on Facebook. I'm Pam Minnick. For our entire American Rancher team, thanks for joining us. We'll see you next time.